Hi, my name is Pradyam Ramkumar. In this video, we will go over the out-of-the-box experience for the HapTouch Booster Pack featuring ultra-low power MSP430 capacitive touch and immersion touchsense haptics. Out of the box, you can experience 122 unique haptics effects featuring immersion touchsense technology. You can experience machine gun, explosion, heartbeats, and several other haptics effect sequence. You can experience audio to haptics technology and also experience motor-based actuators, also called as ERM, and spring-based actuators, LRA. The booster pack works with the MSP430 G2 Launchpad version 1.5 and later. Before plugging in the booster pack, please follow the instructions on the screen. Plug the booster pack into the launch pad and power the launch pad to a USB power supply. On the booster pack, there are four capacitive buttons arranged as left, right, up and down. Two in the bottom, select and start, and two on the right, B and A. Make sure that the audio button switch is pointing to button. You can experience different haptic sequences by pressing the various buttons as shown below. For instance, by pressing the select button, you can get the dice effect and so on. Next, to experience the 122 different effects, make sure that the selector switch points to button. You can press the left or the right key to enter the effects mode. Now, by selecting the select button start B and A, you can experience effects 0, 1, 2, and 3. You can press the right button and move on to effects 4, 5, 6, and 7, so on, all the way unto 122 different effects. The LEDs on the board will show you exactly which effect bank is being played. You can use the ERM LRA actuator selectors to switch between the actuators. For audio to haptics, make sure the switches are set up correctly as shown. Also, a line level audio signal needs to be plugged into the audio jack. Note that the line level is different from headphone out. A headphone out will not work correctly for this use case. Also, audio to haptics works best with ERM actuator. In our demo, we tapped the analog line out from an iPod Classic using a 30-pin connector and hooked it up as shown below. If you have any other line out source, it will work as well. Now, let's see the demo. For more information on where to order this booster pack and also other videos on this product, please visit www.ti.com/430haptics. Thanks for watching this video.